Because if it's a super busy week, the, the point isn't to add more, right? The point is to recognize, okay, I've got a busy week. We need to make sure there's periods of rest in there. We need to make sure I've got my self-care hour in there. However, if your week feels manageable after your recurring weekly things and your one-off things, then I encourage the clients to look at their to-do list and pick three things to do that week, sort of three results, the big three. And my advice is always to schedule in, if you can, within what you've got available, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And there's a couple of reasons for that. I like to leave the end of the calendar free because A, something's going to happen where you have to move something. And if there's no space to move it, there's immediate stress, right? Immediate overwhelm. Well, what do I do with this thing? Now, all of a sudden, I got a teacher interview at 10 a.m. Monday when I was supposed to work on my emails. When am I going to work on my emails? If you leave Thursday, Friday with a bit of space, then you can move things as life inevitably throws you those curveballs without the stress, right? The other piece of it is if you're having a week where you really don't have high energy, right? Like maybe you've got your period, maybe you got sick, maybe you're dealing with a kid that's sick or needy this week. If you get everything done at the beginning of the week, then you can kind of coast those last two days. You know, you've built in some space for the rest after all the activity. 